and this is Moses Bliss. You can see him just there, you know, nodding his head and speaking in tongues. And this was the video that brought a lot of attention to people saying that why is Moses Bliss dressed in Kenyan traditional outfit, knowing fully well that he's a Christian and that these are against his belief. That isn't sure or is he not worried that you know those dance that he's doing might you know put in strange spirits in him and uh, we'll be talking about the stampede that happened uh, recently i would like to call it a stampede or you know the rush of crowds that happened recently in um bliss kenya and uh, the reports from it and also people's reaction to this on why moses bliss was wearing kenyan traditional outfit despite being a christian You're welcome to my channel. I'm Ami React. Over here, I do just, I do reactions and all that good stuff. Kindly do all by liking the video. Kindly do all by subscribing to the channel, my lovely people. Now, I want us to read some comments that I saw in Moses this comment section before we go into this video properly. This one says they are singing cultural songs and you are closing your eyes. Never enter spirit. This one says he could be closing his eyes to connect with his own spirit. As someone, as sometimes what you see can affect you, and actually closing your eyes to it at that moment escapes and the right thing to do. A person led by the spirit will be guided by the spirit. Why someone replied on that saying so profound a response from the holy spirit so this person is saying that the reason why moses bliss was closing his eyes because he did not want to be connected to the spirits of him um, the kenyans you know during that their cultural dance what do you think do you think that was the reason why moses bliss was closing his eyes this one says exactly my point someone said i'm a masia they are not singing bad thing these songs are sung during celebration or when welcoming guests they are just happy songs this one says do you know if he's speaking in tongues hmm lovely Moses this closing his eye in that video has brought a lot of questions which I would love you to answer in the comment section this one says Nigeria has lost her own culture to foreigners but if it was some Nigerian cultural stuff they call it a sin till we lost them isn't it funny how we trash our culture and embrace other people's culture and tradition just thinking aloud i love this though the cultures are beautiful this one says uncle don't use blood of jesus cover in body real quick i know understand waiting them they do this one says papa quotes scripture with immediate effect this one says did you understand what they are saying if you know waiting you go do this one says get your mind out of the gutter this were people's reactions to moses please uh, welcome to kenya now to me i feel um moses please is not a kenyan and uh, i'm very sure he doesn't understand kenyan language so when he was welcomed the way he was welcomed you are not expect him to be there shining his teeth opening his eyes and looking at them no he doesn't really understand what he's saying so it may be in his mind or in his heart of heart he'll be singing his song he understands for example if i go to kenya and i'm giving this kind of welcome i will sing a song that i understand you understand i will sing a song that i understand in my mind you know to to flow with the rhythm i don't think Moses bliss was afraid of being initiated no 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 and mind you these are just kenyan cultural songs they use in welcoming their people for example in nigeria to when um, this went to calabar there were cultural songs that you know the calabar people use the welcoming him will i now say they are juju no you know this mindset we have over here in africa that uh, our african language or african cultures are so diabolic and evil so as a christian you shouldn't do them you shouldn't do this you shouldn't do that i think it needs to be abolished there are some co Afri african cultures and african tradition that should actually be abolished normally yes i'm talking about the normal cultures normal things 
Oh, because I'm a Christian means I will not have my culture again. I won't wear my cultural attire. I won't sing my cultural songs. I don't understand. I know told you you cannot praise God in your cultural language. Where was that written? Who gave that school of thought? Who said that? So the person saying that oh Nigerians threw away their culture and tradition because of Christianity. To me, that comment is a bit funny. Because trust me, everybody knows how they reference God. Everybody knows how they talk to God in their private areas, in their private worlds. So you won't say because I wore my, my, my traditional outfit means I'm no longer a Christian or I'm less of a Christian. Or because you saw Moses please wear the Kenyan traditional outfit means he's no longer a Christian, means he'll be initiated. Into what? Trust me, there are African cultures, the African traditions that are sacred. And you all know those cultures. You, they don't even do them on cameras. That one is different. It's just a general welcoming. So to me, it was a, it was a bit funny. But feel free to drop your opinions in the comment section. Once more, I want to say a big thank you to Kenya, to the big welcome they gave Moses Bliss. It was indeed profound and um, a beautiful sight to behold. Now, let us quickly talk about the entry to the um no grace encounter kenya that is happening live right now in nairobi um those that are worried saying i hope nobody was injured or why were they rushing i explained in the other video why they were rushing they were rushing because the hall was already filled and they didn't want to miss that program there was no life lost god forbid we will not have any life lost there were no injuries it was just people enthusiastic and you know excited to join the program it wasn't anything that would lead to loss of life oh, no 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 it wasn't a serious something for those of you asking in the comment section it was just you know people just happy just excited to see the program just excited to see how god is you know moving beautifully well in moses bliss and kenya in general so that's just it my beautiful people feel free to drop your own opinions in the comment section what do you think about um our today's analysis of moses bliss wearing the maasai um kenyan outfit and if you also a kenyan you can also educate us more in the comment section what these outfits represent what the songs that we played represent maybe in my next video i would use your comment and make a well detailed video explaining the cultural aspect of kenya the music the dance and the welcoming song what this bliss was given like and subscribe the video please i will see you in my next one my beautiful people bye